there were only two different versions. There was this one and one for like 600 bucks. And I was just like, no. No freaking way. I love this game, but not that much. Not that much. Not that much. Hey, welcome to another unboxing. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. Okay, so um, I ended up getting it. Um, the Destroyal Humans uh, Bigger Collector's Edition. And I saw, uh, when I got the, the first one that I unboxed for you guys, I uh, went, it's like, I wonder what the other figure looks like. And I realized it was a little bigger than I thought. Um, just a little bit bigger. And um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go get it. I had the, the extra cash and I was like, yep, let's go do it. So, unboxing time. I'll put this on the floor, get a better setup. Uh, give me a sec. Really cool art box, I'm not going to lie. So, as you can see, this is the stuff it comes with. Um, a little buy over here. Same thing with uh, other collector's edition, obviously, with just different collector stuff, you know? Another cool art box stuff going on. Really, really awesome. I'm digging this box though, it's really nice. <laughs> I like this one too, this one's cool. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, um, I guess let's crack this guy open. Um, not much on the two sides. Um, it's just kind of like the same deal on the back where it shows you what comes in here. Um, yeah, so I'll just cut this boy open. Okay, so it's just a slip cover. I like this, this is cool. Alright, so we've got the backpack. We've got the game, which I have two copies now. The online content, the um, postcards. If you guys haven't seen my other um, unboxing, I, I recommend you check it out. Um, the editing in it was <laughs> really funny. I was so surprised. My um, fiance is my editor, and she did an excellent job. It's actually quite comical. If you know this game, um, then you'll 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 know exactly what I mean when you see it. Put this down here. So, um, all right, there you go. The truth is down there. Just like a filler for the the packaging here. And here's the the thing I've been waiting for for a while. All right, we'll put this aside. Close it up first. So I won't be um, doing the unboxing for um, the other smaller items, such as the postcards, the um, little squeezy toy, the keychain, uh, etc. But I will be doing the stuff that um, I, this edition comes with that the other one didn't. Um, such as, I think it's pretty much, hold on. Yeah, it, it's just the backpack and the, um, the large crypto statue. All right, so we'll do the backpack. I, I don't really mind the backpack at all. Um, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> Check him out. Yeah, it's like you you chuck him on and he kind of hugs you from the back. Um, it's it's It feels like a plush toy rather than a backpack, which is pretty cool. Um, doesn't look like you can really get a whole bunch in here, but it, it, it's all right. It, it looks okay. Um, I thought that this was the reason why the price tag was so expensive. Um, I thought the statue that it came with was ultimately the same kind of size 
for the rest of the stuff. Um, sorry, I'll do the review on this guy. Um, yeah, he's all right. He's got destroy human straps here. You can see there. Um, yeah, he kind of like, I'll put it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. So it kind of just hangs on you like that. Um, not too, not too bad, not too good. I think it'll be really cool at a con, take it to, down to a convention, um, to keep like your phone and your wallet in or something. Um, so here we go. Here's the, the big mama. I think everything else comes with, yeah, it's all in there. Alrighty, let's have a look at this guy. So I haven't opened him, so um, you'll, you'll see my actual reaction. Been um, really excited for this. You can ask my fiance. Every time we go into a, every time we go into a um, a game store, always point at the the, the game on the shelf. <laughs> I'm very excited. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Look at that alien ass. I'm surprised it comes all in one piece. I won't lie. Okay, this this is this is really cool. I'm digging this. All right, here we go. Here he is, out of the box. Um, got my turntable. Got turntables. Or ooh, that doesn't sound good. The turntable is almost the exact size of <laughs> the base for this guy. Um, I love this guy. He is wicked. Um, I'm not entirely sure what scale he is. I am assuming he would be maybe two-thirds scaled because um, he, he's a lot bigger he's like a he will come up to my hip in the um, in, as a life-size character but not not him he comes up to just just over my knees um, he looks wicked he is huge too um, yeah the the eyes really stand out to me because they are like they've got the red and black and then they've got this lens over them um, the same with the brain on the side here, same kind of deal, it's got like this transparent plastic on it. There are a few seam lines, and actually there, there, there's seam lines all over this guy, but it is just a collector's edition. Uh, hold on. Yeah, forgot to take the squeaky toy and <laughs> the keychain. So yeah, this guy does come, come um, you can open it like that, um, little secret thing there. The world is pretty cool. It's actually three-dimensional. It's not just painted on there, which I like. He looks awesome. Like, he looks awesome. It's it's really well done. I like the redesign of the suit um, with different textures and there's a lot of textures. He's got this honeycomb texture throughout the whole suit. The honeycomb texture on his gauntlet gloves or whatever is slightly bigger than the rest of the suit. Uh, his hands are painted metallic purple. Um, so is the blue parts on his suit. Look at that. Look at that alien booty. Uh, those parts are painted the metallic blue as well. You got the purple, the same kind of purple on the piping back here. The only thing that this mi is missing out on is a light up feature. I think that they really missed out on the light up feature. Um, some elements on the backpack here would light up. The gun, all the yellow parts would light up and he's got this kind of ring around his neck. Not really a ring, it's, it's a different shape to a ring, but he's got this blue part around his neck that would light up, it, it lights up in the game. Yeah, he's got little dimples or holes in his, or little uh, dents in his uh, cranium, he would call it. Veins and, oh man, the texturing on his skin is really cool. I kind of wish he was, um, no, I was going to say, I kind of wish he was painted a metallic like in the game, but I think that would be a little overpowering with the metallic take on the entire figure. I think they did it alright. Um, there are a lot of seam line problems um, on the sides of his face, just where his mouth is. His mouth looks really cool. He's got teeth and everything there. 
uh, it's actually like three dimensional too, so it's not just a screen of teeth like you can see inside his mouth and his tongue. There's seam lines across his jaw here uh, by his mouth over here where the plastic part on his cranium on the sides of his head um, and down the middle there are seam lines all across the suit there's seam lines um, but for you know the price tag it wasn't bad um, I think the statue itself is worth the price I paid for it let alone the backpack the squeezy toy the keychain and the game with the extra content on the um, uh, the extra skins that you get for in-game. The gun looks wicked. I love the redesigns on this character and the game is epic. It's it's just big dumb fun. You know, it's that kind of game. It's it's a PlayStation 2 game that they redid um, and they did really well with it. It was... I love it. I think it was a good game. It's so... I, I can only say that because it's so nostalgic to my childhood. It was one of those games where you you couldn't play because it was um, over PG, you know, and um, we, we ended up getting it and we ended up playing it, which was really, really cool. A lot of wrinkles, like the wrinkles in his, in his forehead, the wrinkles on the side of his face here, oh man, on his neck, the details on the top of the head. Uh, yeah, there's little divots on the top of his head, little bumps and indents that look really, really nice. Um, he is hollow, completely hollow. Um, yeah, but this this is an epic st statue. I um, I'm so glad I picked it up, and I think he would pair really nicely with uh, the other special edition. I'm really glad I got him. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, you know, subscribe, all that YouTuber crap. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for supporting me.